We've been painting all day. We've cleaned this gun five or six different times using the RCS cleaner. Now we're gonna show you what to do at the end of the day when it's time to put the gun away so it's ready to use tomorrow morning. All right, we just got done painting. We've been spraying all day in that booth. In between paint jobs, we've been using the RCS cleaner. But now it's the end of the day. We wanna make sure my gun is ready for tomorrow. So we'll show you how to clean your gun at the end of the day. First thing is I'm gonna remove my air cap before I do any kind of a rinse. Because when I, when I put that rinsing solvent inside to rinse that out, you'll see that it can dribble down. So I wanna make sure that doesn't happen because if I leave my air cap on, I don't wanna fill that with dirty paint residue that's coming out of that spray gun. So with that, with that uh, air cap off, I'm gonna use that little bit of thinner or solvent or acetone or whatever you're using in your area. I'm gonna scrub that up on the outside so I don't have any of that paint residue or overspray left on it. You notice the inside is clean. There is no paint inside. The outside is clean. But final rinse after I've used the brush. And I'm gonna blow that dry. Next, I'm gonna pull my paint needle. I can use this, use a cloth, use a little bit of that solvent and wipe that off. Paint needle's done. My fluid tip and gun body, I need to make sure that I'm using this proper wrench. When I put that on there, it fits, but I like to put it against something so that you're not slipping with that wrench and, and whacking a D-shaped flat spot on the end of your fluid tip. When that fluid tip comes out, you'll notice on this X5500 that we have a uh, white seal. That's been on all of our guns for the last 10 years or more, probably 15 years, but you need to make sure that thing's in good working order. With this, I'm just gonna use solvent. I'm gonna plug the bottom of this fluid tip so I don't lose any. When I use my brush, I can now put that down inside, clean inside that fluid tip all around the back side and around the front side. And I use only a few drops of, of uh, solvent. I like to give it a quick rinse anytime I run a brush across it and then blow it dry. The gun body, same procedure. I want to rinse it and use a brush, but notice there's two holes there. Those are air holes and I do not want any kind of contaminants getting inside. So I'm gonna clean this gun at this angle. So when I hold that gun, I now have my finger over the fluid passage. I can run this inside. I can grab my brush, hit the whole fluid passage from the top side. And if there's any left down inside, I can clean that out, give it a quick flush. And I can blow it out. I can also use this same thinner, put a little bit on this towel, and I can wipe off the rest of that spray gun. Make sure all that's clean. Put my fluid tip back in. And with that fluid nozzle, especially on these X guns, all I have to do is make sure I've got it finger tight. Now you'll see where that wrench is. I just need to give that a snug. Now it's tight enough so that it's not going to leak air and fluid. The needle goes in. Spring. Fluid knob. And once I have all of that assembled, my gun is ready to use the next day. And look at how much waste solvent that we have. So I mean, very easy to do. Keep your gun clean, put it away dry. Don't leave any solvent soaking in that fluid passage because you don't need any seals or anything touching that solvent all weekend or all overnight and swelling or drying anything out. So make sure you put it away dry. At the end of the day, you're gonna paint great tomorrow.